Hey everyone, welcome back to Teslas in Canada. Today we're going to do the sunscreen covers from Joa throughout the entire vehicle and uh, test out how much sun it actually blocks out. So it comes in three bags and it covers every single window, including the small triangle windows here. So it covers that front glass, the roof, the rear glass, as well as the uh, you know, all the other windows there. So let's open it up. So this is for the windshield. So you can see it's black on this side. And then on the front side, it's that reflective material okay slide it in all the way down pop it over here pop it up into the corners there zip this up wow that really blacks it out if I grab this I've got the windshield sunshade guide which you can go on there this for popping the clips in and out and for cutting this open there we go we've got some of the clips here i need to check the guide just to make sure i'm doing these clips properly Okay, so for the windshield, you're just gonna take one of these clips. You can use the pry bar to get to it, but um, basically you're going to slide it on there like that. I was able to just push it on like that. And then when you are installing it up, it just holds on there, clips in place. There we go. Okay. So you want to have it more to the outside in order to hold it. I had them too close together, which was causing me an issue here with this bump. But if you install them where it says in the online guide here, you'll have a much easier time. Okay, let's install the next batch. Let's test out this one. I believe this is for all the side windows. Looks like a front window. Front window. Now oh, these are more for privacy, for sleeping, camping, things like that. That'll be for this rear hatch. <coughs> and these low guys. So let's install them. Snap in very easily. So the nice thing with these ones are they're a no clip system. So they just snap in place with no clip to provide you with ultimate privacy for sleeping or if you just want um, if you want to keep the sun out for the kids while you're driving you can just snap them in place so I'll hop in the back seat and install them there oh, let's move these car seats there we go give me some space in here and Pull all these guys in. This side up. I think this guy is gonna fit there. Yeah. Snaps in. What kid's toy did I hit? And then over here.
Hmm, do the kids' locks work? I forget. Okay, I can still get out. I hope. Yep. So, when it says side up, that's the side that you want, of course, up here. And facing out, the logo is going to be facing in. I'll snap right in there. Right in there. Look at that. Ultimate road trip privacy. Oh. This is going to be great for this will be great for our road trips with the kids when we want them uh, to go to sleep block out some light during the day and at night this will provide tons of privacy if you wanted to sleep in the vehicle so I'll pop on Let's do the roof now. So the roof one is there. So the roof there is in the back and I'll grab that now and you can really tell the difference here between this window and this window and the privacy you get. And remember with the Teslas, you can run the AC all the time in order to cool the vehicle down. So it is perfect for camping in and sleeping in. So on the roof, you're gonna install two of these clips on the back, two on the side up to this portion, two in the front, two there, two there. So basically four along the sidebars and then two in the front and two in the back. So once you have those clips on, see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, it's a helicopter. Well, that was random. Now let's throw this roof cover on. Okay, so I've got it clipped in there. So you can see the back clips are not clipping on right now, but I think once I add the front portion in, it'll make it a lot better. Show you guys how to put these clips in maybe a little bit better for this camera angle. So I use the pry bar there, pry it out and slide the clip in behind. Probably can't see on this angle anyway, so you won't even see this in the video. Okay, so next step, you're going to pop open this cover. Oh, uh oh, I almost put it in drive. So, yeah, you'll see this side up there. Spin this around. Spin this over my head. And I believe this is the right way. Let's see, snap it okay. in. That's good on that side. And to the other side. There we go, all snapped in. Tighten this up here on the roof. Push that back and yeah, you'll see that covers the entire roof a lot better. <laughs> Actually, I gotta put that rear one back on because I slammed it closed and it popped off. But we'll snap on one of the fronts here and show you how that goes. So 
They're very easy. You just slide it in there, snap it into the corner, snap it into the corner. Boom. Covered up. We'll pop that back one back on and then we'll pop the side window on here and show you guys the visibility from the outside trying to look in as well as what it looks like of course inside here and uh, yeah i think you'll be quite pleased okay so it's gotten darker in here i have gone ahead and actually installed two clips on the back that may have been in the instructions but i failed to read that portion of it and now we're going to pop this last window panel cover on if I can do it one-handed. And there we are. Total darkness in the middle of the day when it is 27 degrees out and it's nice and cool in here. Of course, there's always gonna be a little bit of light that does seep through, but that's fine. And then of course my screen is providing me a lot of light here for filming which is good because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see me um, yeah so now what you can do is hop into your settings you can hop here into your settings click that go over to camp mode and enable camp mode set whatever settings you want in terms of temperature and you'll be able to start camping. One thing I'm not too sure about is how to turn off the screen, dim the screen, but I do know that it'll automatically, after a while, go down or turn off and turn black. So you can definitely do that. But yeah, I definitely gotta make a video sleeping in the car for 24 hours now. And for now, I'm going to leave all these covers on. Or maybe I shouldn't because my wife's going to come out and try and drive the car and not be able to go anywhere. But uh, yeah, I think this is awesome. I'll take a walk around the outside, show you the visibility coming in as well. I'll uh, yeah, show you the visibility going out, although you can see it now. You cannot see out. It is awesome. Now the sun's coming directly from this side, so that's why on the camera it shows it's red, but it's not red at all. And it's really keeping that heat out, which is nice. So let me walk around the car, show you guys what it looks like from the outside. And yeah, I think, and yeah, I am very pleased with this from Jawa. If you wanna purchase it, definitely click the link down in the description below. Use the code TIC24 for 5% off your purchase. And they have lots of other great products, which I have in the vehicle as well. Like this whole center console organizer, the flashlight here, which can add some lighting here in the dark and is very handy just for visibility to be able to see things in the dark, just like right now. But yeah, check them out, check them out and uh, show them some love. Check out some of their products. I do find that their products specifically are very well built. A lot of, while well, everything's built in-house, they have their in-house engineers and all of that and a lot of their team has previously worked on a lot of products for Apple over the last 10 years. So they do know what they're doing and the quality of their stuff has been more than fantastic and very well built. So I look forward to showcasing some of their, some more of their stuff in the future. But for now, check out the past video on some of the other accessories that I have installed here in the car but I did want to highlight these sunshade covers in its own video because they're awesome. I'm going to be using them on road trips and camping and things like that. So I'll be making some more videos with these in particular 
So stay tuned for that to see how well it works. I had to put the flashlight on to showcase everything here for you guys. I love these little rear window covers. Nice thing is these things fold up nicely and get tucked away. And in case you're wondering, it does stay there. Now you can't see in, which is awesome. Really does block out everything very well. So there's no visibility into the vehicle anymore, which is a definite plus if you have valuables or you just start wanna have a nap in the vehicle and don't want anyone to see. So anyways, check out Jawa and use the code down below to get 5% off your purchase today. Show them some love and let me know what you think. Would you camp or sleep in the vehicle? I know a lot of people do on longer road trips to save some money, especially when you're using an EV, you're saving money there, charging, may as well save money on hotels and things like that. Sleep in the car, especially with camp mode. Let me know what you guys think and stay tuned for the next video.